Hi all. In this video, let's try to understand what are variables in JavaScript and uh, what is the purpose of these variables and how to use these variables and what are the naming conventions of the variables. So anything, any of the Java application or any ap applications, they need to work with the information. So information is a key. So here, if whatever you see uh, in any e e-commerce application, so everything is an information. So we need to point to that information. We need to dynamically modify that information. It means we need to store that information. So that's where the variable comes into the picture. Variable is used to store the information. So that's the first point we need to understand. So any of the applications, it, it may be e-commerce application, any of the chat applications, the primary use case is the variables we use to store the information. The first point here is let message. So this is how we are going to declare a variable. So we are going to declare a variable like this. So if you not assign any of the value to this variable, by default in JavaScript, undefined would be assigned to this variable. And the second point is some place you can assign a value to this message. So this is known as initialization. It means you are assigning some value to this variable. Fine. So now let's discuss this with an image. So with a paint image. So we have a paint image. So let's uh, discuss that. So every location or information you store that will be in form of a box in the memory allocation. If you use any variable, a box or will be allocated. So this is a memory allocation. So here you will be having a data. So we can call this as a data or information. So in this memory allocation, you will be storing some data that is hello world. Okay. In this memory allocation, you have some information. So in order to access this information or this memory block, we need to point to this memory block. So that is where, that is what the variable. So we are pointing to this memory block with a unique label that is message. So here message is nothing but a variable name that is pointing to this memory allocation. We are using this unique label to point to this memory location. In this memory location, we are storing the data or information that we are going to use in the application. So this is about the overall basic look of a variable. So now this is how you are going to declare a variable and this is how you are going to initialize a variable. So initialization means you are assigning some value to the variable. It means you are pointing some data to some variable. So as we are seeing in the diagram. So next we have, we can combine this declaration and initialization in a single line like this. We can do like this in a single line. The next point is you can use the variables like this. The multiple variables also can be declared in a single line like this, but this is not recommended for the sake of better readability you should do each and in each and every line you should write like this so it means it, it gives more readability even though the code goes longer but it gives more readability so this is how we need to do but even though we can do uh, declare all the multiple variables in a single line for the better readability we need to do this and coming to variable naming conventions so we have two rules to declare the variable names so the first rule is names must contain only the letters, digits, and symbols like dollar and underscore. That's it. Uh, we should not use any of the special characters other than this dollar and underscore. This is the first rule. And the second rule is the first character must not be a digit. So this is the second rule. So now let's see some of the examples of what are the correct variables and what are the wrong variables of declaring. So let dollar is equal to one. So this is a valid variable name because dollar is also we can use as a uh, variable name and let underscore is equal to two. So this is also a valid variable name because underscore can be used as a variable name as per the first rule. So both these are a valid things. So now let's see some of them. So I'm declaring one A. So this is a not va valid variable name because the first character must not be a digit. So that's the reason this is not a valid variable name. So coming to the next one, let my var. So this is also not a variable, not a valid variable name because we are using an hyphen here. 
so we are using special character other than dollar or underscore so that's the reason both these two are not valid okay so coming to the next part so like uh, if you have multiple words like you have a username as a variable name so then you need to declare that with a camel case so you can declare that like this username so if you have a multi words like username these are multi words in in this type of case, case you can use camel case to represent your variable so username if you have multiple words use the camel case like this that's another point and uh, if you understand the variable names or case sensitive in sense the let apple so this is different from this apple because variable names or case sensitive apple in the smaller case is different from the apple here if you understand the pp is a capital letter so now both the variables are different variables those are not the same variables and coming to the another point the variable names should not be the reserved words whenever you're declaring any of the variable names keep in mind that those should not be the reserved words because the reserved words will be used by the language the language will use this reserved word words so we should not use them as a variable names so that's the reason if you declare a variable like let return 10 so this is wrong because return let class or function so if you say let class is equal to one so this is also not valid because class return let and also function so all these things are this is also not considered as a valid variable name all these things are not considered as a value uh, variable names because these are the reserved words of the language language itself will be using these these things so that's the reason we should not use them as a variables variable name names so also i have done a video special video on the variables uh, the difference between the var let and constant and all the differences regarding the hosting and redeclaration all things i have done a video on these things so i will keep that video at the end card of this video please watch that as well and coming to the uh, naming convention of the constant so when, whenever you are trying to declare a constant it's good to name the constant in a uppercase characters like this with underscore separated so this is not an exact rule but it is good to follow this recommended rule because if you declare a constant like this so that it it clearly communicates the fact to everyone of the team members that this is a constant value so they will not by mistake also they will not use this value to modify the va value in this variable so that's the reason why you are defining the constants define them with the capital letter and the underscore this helps but if you are using the let and constant there is no need you can directly use the camel cases also one more thing like var a is equal to 10 so initially uh, before we get a uh, let and constant we are just using the var as a variables here var means a variable okay thereafter var has some disadvantages so that's the reason in es6 we got let and constant I have explained regarding this var let constant differences in a separate video please watch that as well so thanks for watching please subscribe for more videos